Thanks for joining, Owen. This is too much Thanks fun. for joining, Ruth. Thank you. Okay. 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 So you're welcome. We hope you've had a good day. You could actually use the chat box and just let us know where you're joining in from. We'll be kicking off in about five minutes, but in the meantime, um, I'm not too sure. Um, Cell, can you hear my, can you hear the music as well? I don't think I'm sharing audio. Uh, you are actually, or oh, maybe it's okay. mine. Let me pause mine so I can tell whether it's your song. No, I can't hear it. You can't hear it. Wow. Okay. It's okay. If okay. It all went from Houston. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you, Rose. It, it, it it's okay if you, if you, if it's not uh playing, I can okay. you know play the one okay. from just another. Okay. Yeah, so we just it, it's quite a bit coordinating everything. Welcome everyone. This is say day three. Day three. Do we yes. have people on Facebook? Let us know if you're joining in through Facebook. Okay, um, Ruth from Lagos. I have no way of knowing. I'm learning all of this this week. And it's a little too much for me already, but I'm learning. Um, so thank you for yeah. joining us. I would never have thought I'd be doing this, but that's how it goes, right? Yeah. Everyone, everyone, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. So thank, thank you. you. For joining. Yeah. I think so, it's actually... it's. Yeah, go ahead, Seal. No, no, you first. Yeah. No, I think it's streaming. I've gotten the prompt as well. That's streaming on Facebook as it's well. Streaming. So yeah, excellent. Yes. Yes. All Thank right. you, Society. I see you. Thank you for joining. Ruth from Lagos. Thank you. We we'll see. Okay. And we, we we have Ruth and we have Owen from Owen yes. is the one from Houston, yeah? Yes. Okay, great. Great. Um, that's my welcome sister. sister IT. Welcome. Good evening, sir. Good, good evening. Oh, when I saw Kenzo, I suspected. Yeah, There's no, only um, one at Kenzo, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Hilda, Owens, oh, immediately after New Year's Day, your friend. After New Year's Day? Yeah, Great. she's immediately after New Year's Day. Okay, when I saw <laughs> that, I suspected <laughs> actually. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We still have a few more minutes to um, uh, give some other people to join us. I know it's a work day, but um, all the same, I know you're going to be here. This is pretty important. And I don't have the camera today. Someone else has the camera. You're going to find out why. <laughs> You'll hear my voice. And soon my voice is going to go into the background and you hear someone else's voice. You can see her face already, a pretty face already. Actually, it's your face we can see. Oh, seriously, <laughs> it's moment. my face? <laughs> yeah, but it, it seems to be on um, on hold or pause. I don't know what the terminology is. No, the we face see... is a picture. So you're not sharing then. Are you sharing, Sister Hilda? Are you still sharing? Oh, she hasn't yes, shared Yes, I'm then. still sharing. Oh, really? Now, you okay, for if a I moment. mute myself, you'll see me, yes, or if I'm speaking. speaking. Yes, right. when I'm speaking, you'll oh, see right. me, but oh, right. right now, yeah. Okay. All righty. So, um, did you want to highlight on anything that we've done so far, Sister Hilda, uh, just to sort of remind our viewers what we've done obviously someone Something going didn't join us uh in the last uh, few days we're gonna pray in a minute but we have one more minute before the hour is there anything you want to review from perhaps what we did yesterday or day before yesterday okay i would have been looking more at the anchor scripture but um the whole idea here for those that haven't joined in yet uh anchor scripture is actually um Mark chapter 11, 
verse 23. And we are just reemphasizing what we're doing here is actually speaking, right? Speaking things into being. So we were advised from day one to make sure we have our hearts ready and prepared, you know, to key in because it's from inside what we have within that we would eventually speak out. So that was, that's just basically what we are doing today, speaking it. And the scripture really says, for assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. So for day one, we went into speaking lights. So for, I'll come back CL to that. So for day one, basically our scripture was on lights, right? Speaking yes. about our children that they shine forth and that they are the light of the world set mm -hmm. on the hill and they really can't be hidden. So it was just, that was the scripture for, or rather that was the, yeah, the declaration for day one. And for day before two- you, Before you go on, it, it's just occurring to me now, you know, when we yeah. talked about our children being light and- you know, with my work with children, there was a day we asked them in class, I said, how many people want to be famous? And almost all the hands in class went up. Everybody wants to be famous. But when we talk about light here, that's not exactly what God has in mind, is it? You know, he's not talking about you being famous. He's not talking about children being famous. He's talking about them projecting his light. Mm -hmm. His light. His light upon the earth. So it's yeah. not about being famous or being popular. I mean, you could be, you could be popular, you could be famous, but that's not the focus here. It's about shining the light of God into every dark area. And I'm sure you all agree with me that it is dark out there, isn't it? Yep. Amen. Okay, without much Amen. ado, perhaps, we, do, do you want to quickly touch on yesterday's review and then we'll go to... Okay. Know. Yeah. So day two was more on provision. The Lord is our shepherd. We lack nothing. And that was what we were speaking about the children yesterday. But the Lord is their shepherd. So they lack no good thing. And all his all their needs are actually met in his presence. So we started with light. We went into provision. And today is day three. So over to you, CL. <laughs> All right. Before you get into day three, I <laughs> will just take a minute to show my face while I do the intro. Um, um, did I say stop video? Start video. Um, I don't know what I did. But okay. All right. So, so I am so delighted today to introduce our host. I'm not the one hosting today. We have a special woman in our miss hosting. And before I say anything about her, I want her to, uh, Sister Hilda, if you just go to the last page, if you just take us to the last page so I can, all right, all right. And so here are the contributors to this work. They, these women are the ones that did the research on the different um, scriptures that I then kind of put some flesh on, but they sat on this scripture. They allowed the Holy Spirit to give them the scripture that we use. So I want to say thank you to them again. And there are how many of us in here? I think about 12 of us or so. Um, but the, the person hosting us today is Sister Hilda. She's the one right here in the middle, Hilda Dixon. I want to say something really quickly about Sister Hilda. Um, I mean, women in general, we, we go through a lot. We are overcomers. And this woman, especially, you know, as several of us have, has overcome tremendous challenges in her life. Um, she's written a book um, cataloging her journey of faith in God. And I believe every woman of faith should read this book. 
Um, so what I'm going to do while she starts with us, because I'm the, she, she's, I'm going to give hosting to her now and I'll be the admin. All right. I'm going to put out her link, check my Facebook page, Instagram page, her link to her Insta Instagram page, to the book on Amazon. So you can catch this book, this woman, God used her to raise a child. Um, um, that was afflicted with cancer almost as she was born, you know, and this child is alive today and doing well and healthy. I want us to borrow from, from her, to borrow from that level of faith, that level of standing in the word, just so we know that what we have indeed is the most powerful tool ever in earth or in heaven. Amen. So without much ado, let me just uh, hand over to her. Did you want me to start with the prayer or will you just take everything? Just take everything, right? You start the prayer. <laughs> thank you, Sia. <laughs> Father God, we thank want you to bless for you. We thank you um, yet again for this third day, Lord. We thank you for sustaining us. We thank you especially for your word and the power of your word. Your word says you have put your word higher You've lifted it higher, even above your name. Now we have your word and we have your name, the two most powerful tools on this earth. Therefore, we are conquerors. So we thank you for another opportunity to gather today. And as we speak your word, Lord, we ask that you stamp it with your approval, that every word we speak into the atmosphere today, Lord, will be carried on by your angels for immediate action. We give you praise, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Right. Thank so, you so much. Thank yes. you. Okay, then. So thank you all for joining. So this is Say It 2023. And um, this is the first edition for 2023. Who knows? We might have many more. And today is day three. So I'll just go on. The, the whole idea is to keep us here for just about 15 minutes and um, speak over our wonderful treasures. And um, while recognizing that we are just vessels and they are actually um, God's own, you know, um, yeah, they are God's children. So today is day three and I'd love to read the thoughts around it. And when I'm done reading the thoughts around it, we'll go on with the declarations. So um, the thoughts around today, it says each child is a masterpiece from the greatest artist. No one child is like the other and no one child should be compared to another, even if they were twins. Avoid every form of comparison in you, in your speech or action. Sorry, just told him. I seem to be blocking it. Yeah. One, yes. So avoid every form of comparison in your speech or action between your children. Sometimes the seemingly unpleasant behavior that you see could be a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered and refined. Don't let what you see on the outside becloud your judgment or blind you to what God is doing on the inside. I think that's really apt and self-explanatory. Even the identical twins are not identical. There's no need comparing, we just, you know, um, nurture and see God's lessons unfold in every one of our child. So now we're going to go on to the declaration for today. And um, I'll expect everyone to unmute and say this after me. We'll repeat this three times or rather twice. Then we'll all mute and call each child by name and make these declarations over them. Each of your children, you make the declaration over them because they are all different and they are all individuals. 
afterwards we'll come back right and and wrap up with another declaration over children of the kingdom and that would be it for today so um are we ready yes, yes. so yes thank you so let's go say it after me my child my, my child, child. My child. Who are God's masterpiece created in the image of Christ? You walk in the path that God prepared for you. You walk in the path that God prepared for you. You do the good works that He called you to. You do the good work that he called you to, and you live the abundant life that he made ready for you. Amen. You live the abundant life made ready for you. Amen. 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 So we'll take it again, my child. My child. My God's masterpiece. Created in the image of Christ. You walk in the path that God prepared for you. You walk in the path of God prepared for you. You do the good works that He called you to. You do the good works that He called you to. And you live the abundant life that he made ready for you. And, and you live, live, live the abundant, abundant life that he made ready for you. For you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So at this point, you're going to mute and call your children's name. And we'll be back shortly afterwards. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Make it easy, and then my shila la go say that it goes shikadabi. And the day, silly labor, shin and the lamb, seek at the rubber. A zikily labor, shin the devil, seek it a day. Make a zikily labor, shin and the seek it a day. Nina zila lamb, shin the devil, king of Saint and the devil, she got a lamb. Named the devil, seek it a devil, shin and the seek it a day. Maybe zikily labor, shin and the seek it a lamb. Maybe zikily labor, shin and the seek it a lamb, she got a lamb. In this Thank you, so at this time we're going to take the declaration again you know we don't live in isolation right our children don't live in isolation and they are children of the kingdom in different places as well so we're going to pray and this time it would be children of the kingdom you are God, so you'll say it after me, and we're declaring this over every one, every one of them as well. So say, children of the kingdom. Children of the kingdom. You are God's yes. masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Created in the image of Christ. Created in the image of Christ. You walk in the path that God prepared for you. 
You want to carry the cross. That God may bear for you. You do the good works that He called you to. You do the good works that He called you to. And you live the abundant life that He made ready for you. And you live the abundant life that He made ready for you. For you. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you all so very much for joining CL. A word before we go. It's eight, it's 10 15. Um, I, I, I guess it's just to stress this point about no comparison. I think we dealt with this in this book twice, maybe even three times. Because from my experience, I think that's a big, big pressure on children. And I'm not, as a mom, I don't think I, I can be guilt-free either. I think it's something we need to constantly check ourselves because I did make those comparisons as well when my children were small. And when they grew, they pointed my attention to it. Oh, that I oh, compared, I was always saying, you know, check this, see this person. So I think we need to be very conscious of that. Half of the kids that I work with professionally complain that they think they've disappointed their parents because they're not as good as their brother or as their sister. Where are they getting those thoughts from? It's not that we said it directly, but we inferred it first in, the way we speak, yeah, in the way we speak to them. So we want to be very, very careful, please, parents, moms especially, there's no basis for comparison. Amen. I think Amen. You know, we just say that to ourselves Amen. every day. Amen. There's no basis for comparison. Each of our children are God's own masterpieces, separate masterpieces, different from the other, even when they are twins. Amen. Okay. And Amen. Help us to raise, uh, to continue to raise wholesome children. In yes. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Before you go, Amen. I'd like to say one more Amen. thing concerning our host today, Sister Hilda Dixon. She's a writer. She's also a coach. She's a financial expert. And she's written a book about her faith journey with regards to raising a child with cancer. I think every mother needs to read that book. So please check, I'm, I posted it out here already, the um, Amazon link, but the time we have is so short. So I'm, I'm going to hope that you will go to, I don't know where you found us from, whether it was from Instagram or, or Facebook. Sister Hilda, as I'm talking, please yes. go ahead, post your links on Instagram, okay. you know, and on, on okay. Facebook, wherever, so you can get this book. We've all read it in Moms Raising Leaders. I think we've all read it. I have read it. And it's just an amazing book of, you know, how God is faithful to one woman. And if God is faithful to that one woman, at that level, he is to all of us. And so we need to learn from her, amen? So please find that book wherever you can and connect with Sister Hilda. She's on Instagram, I believe. I don't know if she's on Facebook. Yes, yes, I, I am. Um, so put your link out there as well for them. And before you go, I um, I ask you to please wait one moment. I just want to check the attendance. If you're, uh, please send us where you're hitting us from today. Lagos, what city? We just want to see our reach. It would really help us for future uh, programs. Please hit us with where you're reaching us from. Thank you so much and join us for day four. Day four tomorrow. All right. Any questions? We don't have time. We, we promise 15 minutes. We want to stick with it. But if somebody has a question or something they want to share, we will take it. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, Amen. Um, I think I think we will let you go at this point. Any questions in the house? Okay. okay. Lagos. So Lagos. Lagos. Thank yes. you.
We see a lot of Lagos. Thank you. I will see Port Harcourt too. Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, we had Houston earlier on. Yeah. So Asaba. Asaba. Oh, awesome. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So thank you all for joining. Thanks for yes. joining in today. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Bless you. God bless you. you. God bless you. Good night. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Good night. God bless Bye now. you. Good God night. You. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Absolutely. Keep saying it. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Sister Hilda, thank you so much for hosting thank today. You. Thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs> thank you. Bye now. Okay, then. Bye-bye.